It's a bit of a meme in the influencer boxing space to say that someone is going to shock the world, but one man from humble beginnings did exactly that. Moving to the UK from the Philippines at the age of 13 with his family, Nathaniel, or Salt Poppy, was just another guy growing up doing normal things and becoming a nurse, until he blew up on TikTok as a notorious fake runner and the parody Salt Bay. From being a viral star to achieving the unthinkable in a short amount of time, here are five times Salt Poppy shocked the world. Salt Poppy just had his newfound virality when out of nowhere he was approached by a boxing promotion going by the name of Showstar, asking him to fight Halal Ham. At this point, Salt Poppy was really only hitting bags every now and then casually and had not really gotten into boxing. Though this was an opportunity nobody would want to miss. Getting to fight on the Wasabi vs. Deji undercard was a big deal. Salt Poppy took the deal and started training himself to get ready for the big day, but only got an actual coach about two weeks before the fight. When fight night came, what unfolded was nothing short of unexpected. Right before the fight started, some unidentified creature decided to intimidate Salt Poppy. And in its opinion, the best way to do that was by performing extremely racist rap. All you do is run on the spot, but tonight you're about to get boxed and put in your place. Now you're either high as fuck or you're Chinese because your eyeballs look sunk into your face. <laughs> See, you might have lost weight, but to me and everyone in nah, that's here... Not cool, bro. Everyone was shocked by this performance. Maybe the opponent thought it would break Nathaniel's spirit or put him in an uncomfortable position, but it actually motivated him because no one expected what came next. The audience expected two heavyweights, inexperienced social media stars to just swing mindlessly. But Salt Poppy had something different to him. He looked like he'd been boxing for a while and was surprisingly technical as a southpaw fighter. Clean combos, perfect counterattacks, and swagger. That night, Salt Poppy shocked the world with his skills and confidence. He looked like the biggest superstar in YouTube boxing. The fight went the distance, but Salt Poppy won the fight by a landslide through unanimous decision and sparked the start to greatness. Fourth place. Shortly after the Showstar event, Happy Punch Promotion signed Salt Poppy to their roster, which meant bigger and better opportunities. And boy, did it get so much bigger and better. Salt Poppy got on KSI's return card, Misfits 001, against streamer Andy Worski. The press conference itself showed us that Salt Poppy's energy was different. While Andy Worski was talking smack constantly, Poppy thanked God and said his hands will do the talking. Nah, screw Canada. I'm gonna <laughs> bend you over, Salt Poppy, and no one will fucking stop me, you understand me? I'm the underdog, bro. You don't even know what you stepped into, bro. He can talk as much as he wants, um, but I let my hands do the talking in the room. Like, like I Although we soon found out, just like Salt Poppy himself, his hands were objects of few words. Just 16 seconds into the fight, Salt Poppy pulled a devastating combination and knocked out Andy Worski. And 14 seconds after that, the fight was waved off and Salt Poppy took the win. This is still the fastest knockout in the history of YouTube boxing. And the fact that it happened at the first legendary Misfits event just makes everything better. Even if people expected Nathaniel to win, the way he won shocked everybody. Salt Poppy had a massive improvement due to him constantly training, and it showed. Suddenly, Salt Poppy was the rising star to look out for with his fast and powerful hands. But don't get it twisted, not only his performance was impressive, 
his body transformation is as impressive or even more. Third place. Before getting involved with YouTube boxing, Salt Poppy was obviously overweight. He himself talked about that problem. But motivation to break people's faces for money and bounce changed everything. With dedication and commitment, he focused on improving his physique. He changed his diet, consistently hit the gym, and followed a strict workout routine. Over time, Salt Poppy's hard work paid off, and he became leaner, stronger, and more muscular, becoming an inspiration to many who aspire to transform their own bodies. In a recent interview on the MMA Hour with Ariel Hawani, Salt Poppy revealed that over the last year, he's lost 30 pounds and is continuing to go down. This just proves how dangerous Salt Poppy is. He hasn't even reached his optimal weight, and fighters are still hesitant to get in the ring with him. He truly shocked the world with this body transformation and inspired a lot of people, proving once again that hard work pays off. Second place. After his electrifying performance at Misfits 001, fans eagerly waited till Salt Poppy's next appearance. It was then announced his next fight would again be on a KSI undercard, except this time it was a whole other beast. His opponent was a professional MMA fighter standing at six foot one, all chiseled and muscular, Josh Bruckner. Going into this fight, people were still rooting for Salt Poppy, but his chances seemed slim because on paper, Josh had every stat going for him, from height to reach to experience. The bell rang, and both fighters immediately looked great in the ring, feeling each other out. Saul Poppy, being a counterpuncher, was waiting for Josh to close the distance so he could go to work. Josh soon realized that every time he tried to pursue Poppy, he always answered back. Slowly, Nathaniel started breaking Josh mentally, laughing at his punching power. Salt Poppy kept taunting Josh, calling him slow, and seemed absolutely unfazed by his shots. Round one made the fight even more exciting, as the outcome could change at any point. Out of nowhere, one minute and 18 seconds into round two, Josh misses his right. Salt Poppy had his lead foot on the outside and threw a power left, dropping Josh, who now knew that standing back up would be to no avail. And he was out for the count, giving the Salt Poppy the astonishing KO. This outcome shocked everyone. Yes, there were people that expected Poppy to win, but no one expected such a stiff KO. But this shocking performance was good and bad, because many influencers are scared to fight him. The only way to lure them into fighting Salt Poppy is his fame. First place. If you have questions, you can go to my personal Instagram. Link in the description. The history of boxing in the Philippines can be traced back to the early 20th century when the sport was introduced by the Americans during their colonial rule. Over the years, boxing has become an integral part of the Filipino sports culture, producing numerous world champions and legendary boxers like Pancho Villa, Francisco Galedo. Born in 1901, Pancho Villa was the first Filipino world champion. Gabriel Flash Elordi, a legendary Filipino boxer, Elordi was a world champion in the super featherweight division from 1960 to 1967. Jerry Peñalosa A two-division world champion, Peñalosa held titles in the super flyweight and bantamweight divisions. He was known for his defensive skills and counterpunching abilities. Donny Nietes Holding world titles in four weight classes, he is one of the longest reigning Filipino world champions. And, of course, Manny Pacquiao. Arguably the most famous Filipino boxer, Pacquiao is an eight-division world champion and has held titles in multiple weight classes. 
His incredible speed, power, and resilience have earned him the nickname Pac-Man. But in the last 10 years, there was no superstar boxer in the Philippines that would put that country back on the map. At a time when his people needed inspiration for a younger generation, out of nowhere, Salt Poppy became a huge star in the UK. But what the rest of the world didn't know was how big of a sensation he was in his home country of Philippines. When he returned, he was greeted with cheers and love that he himself wasn't expecting. The mayor of his hometown also personally congratulated him, and recently, he was also mentioned by the Filipino boxing legend himself, Manny Pacquiao. Salt Poppy has proven himself again and again, coming from humble beginnings and working his way to the top. The dancer, fighter, TikToker and influencer is now bigger than ever as a top five influencer boxer. Yes, maybe he didn't achieve the heights of the pro boxing legends, but his journey did something more. He gave hope for the younger generation, showing that everything is possible. His story is one of inspiration and believing in yourself while having fun.